So first, there's this question of there being too many video formats that we need standards. So what do we do? We released a set of video ad format guidelines. This was uh, middle of last year. that really tried to set the groundwork for what are we facing? What are the terms? What are the products that are in the marketplace today? So this was actually the first update to the 2005 guidelines the IAB published that many folks are actually audited under the MRC to say, you know, these are billable numbers that everyone can agree to, um, and took it a step forward to define what are these units to set a ground for what we were going to do later in the year. And, and you have to realize that we had to, do, we had to do that groundwork to make the kind of technical documents that came later make sense, because we had to have that common terminology. So there's many companies that are, that are compliant with these, with these guidelines. And uh, I put these short URLs up there if anybody wants to go and look these up. Um, hopefully easy enough to uh, scribble down during the course of this presentation. The other challenge, right, that money won't flow to video until these metrics are more consistent, right? So company A measures things one way, company B measures things another. Until we defined what these all were, the only thing that could be measured consistently prior to the release of this document was the paid impression, right? So this effort really was intended to open up the space to many of the companies that are trying to add value to the ecosystem, trying to do things more around engagement, which is where we know the market is going, um, in a way that the IAB uh, could, could frankly endorse. So this was released later last year, so we had one thing in May, next thing in June, um, and it defined the metrics for these core create, four core creative categories. So the next challenge, and this is one that's near and dear to my heart, and really speaks to the complexity um, of that first slide. Now, you know, I was joking with Greg, uh, Greg Stewart down here earlier that you know, standards and metrics, these are, these are boring topics. But frankly, these capabilities, these standards, set the landscape to do all the kinds of creative things that we need to do to move the market forward. So this was the video ad serving template. And because we're geeks, we love our acronym. So it's VAST. Um, and it's a vast improvement on what, on what the business looked like before. Right? VAST allows one ad server to talk to another. Right? This is something that we've done in display advertising since the late 90s, right? when in a web page, you can always take the, the ad tag from a third party company. You may need to make sure that, they're, that it's viable and everything else. But it's just HTML. It's just code. It will run in a web browser. You can't possibly do the same thing in a video player environment, whether it's Flash or Silverlight or Real or whatever it happens to be. You have to program that video player to understand that, that call and response. Vast is essentially an attempt, and Ari was uh, the author of this, and he'll get into more detail about it and the vPaid product. Um, that enabled that sort of interaction. So I'll, 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 leave, I'll leave some more to, to Ari to talk about. But it's that framework for interoperability. It has a similar compliance program that is gaining traction in the market. Um, and the hope here is really that all those companies that we mentioned in that, earlier, in that earlier slide of all the logos can efficiently work with one another. I come from Turner. We, we have dozens of our own properties. We work with dozens and dozens of partners. For us to integrate one by one with every single one of them is just not a tenable exercise. Right? We needed standards for my company, and the industry needs those standards so that we can define it once and work with many. And then finally, that, that complexity prevents the video business from scaling. And I think this really speaks to the things that um, uh, Kurt and Tracy were talking about in, 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 the, in the previous panel around we really need to improve the creativity. We need to improve the engagement. We need to do things that really um, bring the users uh, into the fold. You know, Randall's uh, uh, manifesto earlier this year around transforming the video, transforming the, 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 the experience, the creative experience around digital um, advertising. I really, you know, while it may seem very far afield from something like a video player ad interface definition guideline or vPaid, um, that's really what it's there to do. It's there to allow when that ad comes into an individual video environment to take advantage of that environment, to talk to the player, to do the creative things that it can, and then to do it the same way with every placement that it's, that it's, that it's going to live in across the web. So uh, there's a release here uh, outside that we released this vPay definition this week. 
Um, as I said, it's this framework for player and servers to interoperate, um, and our hope is it will enable much richer and much more scalable creative. And, and uh, if anybody's interested in downloading it, you can do that as well. Uh, last slide that I'll, that I'll comment on here is that there is a compliance seal program uh, that the IAB has initiated around these projects where companies can self-certify themselves as being compliant with the digital video ad format, so essentially to define what's, what's a pre-roll, what's a linear ad, what's a non-linear ad, and, and all the, the definitions therein. Who's using VAST so that if somebody knows that their ad server, you know, they're using broadband enterprises and they support VAST, they know they can go to all the VAST, um, VAST uh, compliant companies out, out in the world. And then finally, VPAID as well, uh, to do that more advanced, uh, richer creative without any extra steps. <clears throat> 